Hi guys, this is Sabia Sobu and today, today, are you looking to add an extra dose of Unga Bunga to your life in Monster Hunter World Iceborne? You certainly can if you befriend Iceborne's new spirit checking cat tribe, the Boa Boa. Yeah, getting on the good side of Warfrost Reach's resident furballs is your ticket to, well, Boa Boa tickets, as well as a nifty wolg mount and even an adorable fur armor set for your own palico. So just how do you get on a good side of Horfrost Reach's equivalent to the Kajalakas, but instead of bombs they use spears. A lot of spears. <laughs> so many spears, in fact, that you'll want to hit that baby one more time. Anyway, here's all you need to know to get your Boa Boa on and reap the benefits of Boa Boa friendship. Step 1. Befriend all of world's Grimalkin cat tribes. Yeah, so in order to even have a chance to befriend the Boa Boa, you will need to be friends with all the other cat tribes first. These include the Bug Trappers of the Ancient Forest, Protectors of Wildspire Waste, Troopers of Coral Highlands, Plunderers of Rotten Vale, and Gajalaka of Elder's Recess. And I know this for a fact because when I was helping my niece, she hasn't developed friendship with all the Grimalkin tribes yet, and she had to do the whole thing. Whereas I had already befriended them, so I was able to go to the Linion Researcher right away. If you haven't befriended them yet, basically you'll need to fulfill the cultural exchange requests of the Linian researcher who has a borderline obsession with cat tribes. Some would even say an unhealthy obsession with cat tribes. Now fulfilling these Grimalkin requests usually involves going on an expedition to the various maps and making sure that the Linian researcher is actually showing up in the map in order for the events to trigger. If you haven't befriended them yet, I'm going to go through the process pretty quickly. Otherwise, you can just use good old YouTube, as I'm sure there are a bunch of more in-depth Grimalkin video guides out there. I think we could build the camp here. Let's ask the head honchos.
there. My dearest thanks. I wish you well. Um. Yeah, so basically you'll need to get all of that done, because otherwise the Linion Researcher will just tell you that he wants to befriend like a new tribe in Horfrost or something like that, but he can't do it because you haven't befriended all the other tribes yet. Yeah, so once you've befriended all the cat tribes, talk to the Linion Researcher, I did so in Celiana, and then he will mention that he wants to establish communication with a new tribe called the Boa Boa. Not to be confused with Rocky Balboa. You will also get a new bounty called Cultural Exchange Horfrost Reach. Yeah, so depart on an expedition to Horfrost Reach and make sure the Cat Stalker, <laughs> I mean the Linion Researcher, is actually on the map. He will be standing just outside the Area 1 camp in Horfrost, and then he will tell you that the Boa Boa have arrived to witness your hunting prowess. So go ahead and hunt a large monster like the Beotodus, for example, and you'll just want to do it while they're present. You'll pretty much end up with a furry posse of cheerleaders <laughs> watching your every move. In fact, your Palico will provide regular updates about how you're impressing the Boa Boa during the hunt, so keep on finding the monster until it goes down. I mean, honestly, these guys are pretty easy to impress. I mean, my cat was telling me just how they were singing my praises, even as I got smacked around by the Beotodas because I wasn't paying attention. Hooray for great inflation and lowered expectations. Once your hunt is successful, the Boa Boa will actually show up inside the Area 1 camp. Talk to them, and they will ask you to follow them to their base. Also talk to the Linion Researcher to trigger Cultural Exchange for Frost Reach 2. After that, follow the Boa Boa to their secret camp in Area 17. You will then unlock the optional quest by your powers combined. Earth, Wind, Fire, Water, 
heart. Is that the sequence? <laughs> it's been a while, can't remember. The bad news is that Captain Planet unfortunately does not show up. Now onward to step three, which is to hunt a tempered Viatotus. Yeah, so you'll sign up for the optional quest that the Boa Boa gave you to hunt a tempered Viatotus via the quest board or the handler. You will then actually be assisted by a gaggle of Boa Boa during your hunt. I mean, it's one of the more hilarious things I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, these little guys are crazy. Anyway, once the monster is slain, follow them to their hideout once again. You will end up clearing Cultural Exchange or Frost Reach 3, and finally befriend the Boa Boa. As a token of their appreciation, they will teach you how to use the Tail Rider signal, which you can use to summon Tail Riders to help you in battle. You will also notice an exclamation point on your Palico's head afterward. Talk to your cat buddy and it'll let you know that it has learned how to also summon Wolgs as Raiderides and Horfrost Reach. It's actually super helpful because Horfrost Reach is big and so having a mount helps speed things up greatly. Now you're probably wondering, so what about the Boa Boa Palico armor? Well, to get the Boa Boa armor for your Palico, you will need to talk to the smithy when he has an exclamation point over his head. This happens pretty early on and eventually you will get a Master Rank 2 quest from him called Boa Boa Constrictor. <laughs> Which will earn you Boa Boa tickets. <laughs> oh man, I, I love the translation here. You know me, I love the puns. By the way, you can also get the tickets from the Linyan Bounty Quests, but this is just another way to do that. The main difference is that you can keep redoing Boa Boa Constrictor as often as you want. Anyway, once you get three tickets, go to the smithy and you will be able to craft the Boa Boa Palico armor. As far as the full material list, you will need three Boa Boa tickets. One Quartus Hardclaw, which is one of those flying things in Horfrost. One Antica Antler. And one Wolg Thick Fur. One of the best parts about the Boa Boa armor is how you're free to color it. Paint, green, blue, brown, black. You're basically only limited by the color palette. It's also one of the most adorable things you'll ever see in the game. I mean, just look at it. It makes your cat basically look like a horny little Ewok. No, not that kind of horny. Anyway, I love this armor so much that I haven't taken it off my Palico ever since acquiring it, like, super early in the game. I could stare at this thing all day long. <laughs> Maybe I'm just bad as the Linian researcher. So what do you think about Iceborne's new tribe, the Boa Boa? As always, feel free to share any thoughts or questions you may have in the comment section. Once again, this is Tabi Asobi. Keep chucking those spears, and thank you for watching.